Are you considering learning Azure Data Factory this year? Well, you might want to reconsider. In this video, I will explain why Azure Data Factory might not be the best investment of your time right now, and what should you focus on instead. Stay tuned, because this information could save you a lot of effort and put you ahead in the competition. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover Maxed Fabric and Azure related topics. I have been personally using Azure Data Factory for around 5 years and I have an entire playlist dedicated to it on this channel. But today we are looking into the future, so let's dive in. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Azure Data Factory has been a stable in Microsoft's data integration services in Azure Cloud for years now. However, as technology evolves, so do the tools we use. Microsoft is shifting towards more integrated and advanced platforms, and one of these platforms is Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric isn't just another service. It is essentially Azure Data Factory repackaged and enhanced with more power, flexibility and seamless integration with other Microsoft services. If you are starting or planning to dive deep into data engineering within the Microsoft ecosystem, here is why you should focus on Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is constantly updated with the latest data engineering capabilities, making it more relevant and feature rich. The skills you gain from learning Microsoft Fabric pipelines are very much applicable to Azure Data Factory. The core concepts and tasks are transferable, making your skill set versatile. From what I have observed, the most new and innovative data engineering work in the Microsoft ecosystem is likely to happen on Microsoft Fabric during upcoming years. Next, let's compare these two tools a bit side by side so you can see how similar they are. As you can see, Azure Data Factory provides a user-friendly visual interface for creating and managing data pipelines. You can drag and drop various activities, making it easy to build complex data pipelines that will handle your data needs. Now let's take a look at Microsoft Fabric data pipelines. The interface is strikingly similar, with the same drag and drop functionality and a familiar set of activities. You can see that creating and managing data pipelines in Fabric is almost identical to Data Factory. Both platforms share a similar design and functionality, which means that the skills you develop in Microsoft Fabric will easily transfer to Azure Data Factory. This similarity ensures that your learning efforts are not wasted, even if you need to work with Data Factory in the future. Now, hear me out. I'm not saying that Azure Data Factory is obsolete. It still has its place. For those entering environments where Azure Data Factory is heavily used, or for ma maintaining legacy systems that rely on it, understanding Azure Data Factory remains crucial. But for most new learners and those looking to stay ahead, Microsoft Fabric is the more strategic choice in this year. In conclusion, if you want to future-proof your data engineering skills, focus on Microsoft Fabric. It's where the innovation is happening and will keep you at the forefront of the industry. What do you think? Are you currently using Azure Data Factory or have you started exploring Microsoft Fabric? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more insights on Microsoft Fabric and Azure. Also, if you'd like to see more in-depth comparison between Azure Data Factory and Microsoft Fabric pipelines, check out this video next. Now, I thank you for watching and see you in that video.